Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own Gorilla Tag copy. Uh, if you haven't already, join the Discord because that's where you're going to get all the links from. I did not make any of these, so credits to whoever who did make them. But anyways, let's just get into the video. So you're going to need three to four main things. One of them is going to be Unity. The second one is going to be my Discord. The third one is going to be Playfab. And the fourth one is going to be Photon. You're going to need all of these to make a Gorilla Tag copy. So let's just get into it by getting into my Discord. In my Discord, you just want to gonna scroll down to make your own GTag copy. And you want to download these two, Mountain Beta Project and DLC. If you want to add me, you can just add me. I'm always accepting friend requests. But you just want to download these two. And then you want to go into the description and go into Playfab. You want to make an account. And then once you've made an account, you can just click on New Studio here. Name it whatever. I'm going to name it Toot Game. Actually, no, I have too many of those. Uh, Project. tutorial so you can just name it whatever you want it doesn't have to be project tutorial and then it's gonna come up with this just blank screen you just wanna refresh the page or just go to here and then here you wanna go down until you see the game that you just made you wanna click on this little swirl wheel you don't have to do this it just looks better and then you can name it whatever you want to again I'm gonna name it project tutorial And save title and then you want to click on it and go to add-ons then scroll down to photon and then you want to go to uh, photon like your actual photon <coughs> and then we're gonna click create new app and then right here it wants to be uh, you want to make it photon a uh, real time and then you can name this whatever doesn't really matter how you spell it you don't have to do these two they're optional but this one you have to name it whatever you want to and then you want to create another app but make it voice this time so instead of having it as real time you want to make it voice right here voice and then I name it a uh, project whatever you name it project tutorial voice so you know which one's which create <coughs> and then once it's done creating like this you want to go back to uh, photon or playfab I mean, and you want to click install Photon, and then how to set up Photon real time with Playfab, you just want to click on that, and then you want to copy all of this, and then save it to somewhere, you can keep it safe, so like that, and then right here with the brackets and the Playfab title ID, you can just get rid of that, you don't need that. And then you want to go to Playfab, and then you want to copy these five uh, five letters and numbers. You just want to copy that. Go here and paste it in there. And then you want to copy the whole thing, and go to Photon, and then scroll all the way down until you see your game, which is right here. You want to click Manage. By the way, you won't have as many as I do, because I've already made a few. And then you want to scroll down until you see custom server. Click on it. And then everything in here, you can just delete and then paste everything in there. And now you want to click create. Not add new pair, but create. And then the same for the voice. You want to click dashboard. Scroll down. 
manage custom server get rid of all of this and paste that in and then click create and then what you want to do is you want to go back to your photon scroll down until you see your game name and then where it says app ID you want to click on it and then copy it go to playfab and here where it says real time app ID you just want to paste that in there and then do the same thing for the voice so go here go to app ID control C and paste that in chat, chat app ID and you just click install photon and it should be f uh, done and ready and then you want to go to your playfab again all the way at the start then you want to go to economy go to currency new currency name this SR and name this shiny rocks all caps and now this is the shiny rocks everything that has to do with shiny rocks is going to be right here initial deposit this is how much you're going to start off with recharge rate is how much you're going to get per day recharge maximum this is how much um, you can get that's max I usually put this at 1 billion because that's also the max you can do and then you want to click on catalog legacy upload JSON choose file and then you want to search for the DLC that you got so so this one right here DLC for games click open and then upload file and then you have your DLC here then what you want to do is you want to go to your unity and then click this little arrow add project from disk and then what you want to do is you want to go into the discord and then you want to download this and you want to click download here and then download anyway and then you want to open that file you want to open that file open the mountain beta project it's going to be a dot raw you want to open that and then there's going to be another folder inside of that you want to open that and then you just want to um, double click the game name or the game that looks like this you just want to double click that that's inside the folder I already did that and it's right here and then you just let this open this won't take as or no this won't be as quick as it is for me because I've already opened it but then once you're here it should open like this and you should see this you just want to go to scenes gorilla gorilla tag and then open that gonna load for a bit and now you're in your gorilla tag map this is basically gorilla tag copy but there is still a few things that you have to do you can obviously decorate it however you want to with the code of conduct or the MOTD Wait, if you want to edit the MOTD text you just type in MOTD and then MOTD text and then you can type that in same with the code of conduct but instead of code of conduct you do CLC CLC text there you go and then this is very important you want to go up into stump and then you will see this gorilla right here you don't want to just click on it you want to click on actual gorilla and then drag this down you can also do offline VR rig and then once you're done with that and you have it in the stump you want to type in the hierarchy play fab authenticator you want to click on it and then you want to edit this script right here by right clicking it and then clicking edit script and then 
here, this is everything that you're going to need to set up uh, PlayFab and app IDs and all that and multiplayer. So you want to go back to your uh, PlayFab and then you want to copy these four letters and numbers again. You want to go to your code and paste it in where it says 900 AC and then do it right here as well in this little um, URL thing and then you want to go to back back to your playfab go to your photon actually and then your app ID you want to copy that and then paste it in your real-time app ID in the code just like that and then do the same for the voice so go down copy this and then paste it right under there and then you want to click file click save all and then you can exit out of that and then it should compile C sharp scripts and that is officially it that is all you have to do to make your gorilla tag copy in the next game in the next tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to set up this archive up here and also how to add custom cosmetics that's going to be soon though but another thing obviously city is kind of you know bright or this shop is kind of bright you just want to click on it click on the material and then just make it like a little darker just like that and now you have a fully functioning gorilla tag copy if you don't believe me you can just click play up here also the way you move is you hold right click and then WASD but yeah the gorilla is gonna look like this so then what you wanna do is you wanna type in player up here and then click on gorilla player whenever you're gonna move him obviously Bobby's work now and if I go into my play fab now go to players click search this is gonna be me you can go to inventory select item and then click or type in every grant item and then once it's granted you want to click play again and you should have every single cosmetic in the game as you can see which also includes the stick as you can see there and admin badge so stick and was it admin badge? I don't think it had admin badge in it no it doesn't you have to give the admin badge separately but that's how you make your own gorilla tag copy I hope you enjoyed and I will teach you guys how to add custom cosmetics and the archive in the next tutorial. Bye.